Hello everybody, it's Bangkok Ian here and it's pickups time. It's what well, it's, uh, it's Thursday, March 30th. I don't think I'm gonna get any more games for the rest of the month, so here we go. Here's my console pickups for the month. I didn't get anything on the Xbox One this month, so it's all PlayStation 4. Starting off with a main event that I just got today. It's a series that I've always loved, especially the last version on the Vita. And it is, can you see it? It's Persona 5. This is the Steelbook version. And I must say, one of the best looking Steelbooks I've seen. And look, look at that. That is absolutely brilliant. All red and black and white and silver. It's incredibly stylish. The game's in my PlayStation 4 right now. Let's play the opening uh, prologue and it's, it's absolutely brilliant. I've always loved the Persona series, especially Persona 4. I, I mainly played the Vita version because one of the best Vita games ever. <laughs> Hundreds of hours of gameplay and I'm expecting nothing less. Reviews for this have been uniformly excellent. So I am so glad I got Persona 5. If you're into Japanese RPGs, get this game. Um, if you read the reviews, it's been getting outstanding, outstanding, outstanding scores across the board. Yes, I'm so happy I've got it. This is going to be my weekend. That's all I'm going to be doing. Persona 5. And I'm so glad I got Steelbook. One of the few games I don't mind getting Steelbook for. I, I could have got the collector's box set, but... I'm a bit wary of spending all that. I'd much rather get more and more games. So there we go, Persona 5. Yes. Can't wait to get into that. Uh, next on the list, it is Tom Clancy's, I'm not sure if you can see in the sun. It's so bloody hot today. Ghost Recon Wildlands. Uh, it's all right, but <laughs> it's a bit of a bit too big for me I'm a bit overwhelmed by the scale of it all it's open world and I wish it would have been a bit restricted don't get me wrong it's, it's a really good game but I wish I don't know I prefer I can see where it goes on from like a Far Cry game but I wish it was I wish it was more of a Far Cry game it's all right it looks amazing on the PlayStation 4 Pro I must give it that Probably one of the best looking PlayStation 4 games. PlayStation 4 Pro games, I should say. Yeah. So, alright. Uh, then, Two Kid and Two. This is a really good game as well. I um, I had Two Kid and One on the PlayStation Vita, and I really liked it on that. And uh, I've not played it much, but what I've played, I like. It's very much in the Monster Hunter style. And so if you like those games, you're bound to look this. And again, it was a budget title. And so you can't go wrong for a budget title. And it looks great. And I'm just reading it. Oh, if I get two kid and two on the Vita, I can save the same save games. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. And this game has got a lot of hate, but I've been having a real blast with it. It's Mass Effect Andromeda. Yeah, the animation, not the best. The voice work, not the best. And the expressions, uh, you better having aliens on your party, that's all I'm going to say. But the story is great. And the actual exploring bit, I mean, that's why I've always loved my Mass Effect. I just like getting on a world and just pegging it. Seeing something, oh, let's go over there and let's see what it is. And that aspect is great. The amount of things you can see, find, and upgrade, and all the planets are still there where you can scan all the planets and get resources and everything. So yeah, it's it's the weakest of the series, but still, the weakest of the series when it's Mass Effect, it's still a bloody good game if you ask me, you know? I can't see them ever fixing the problems with the animation and the expressions because it's so endemic. But if you're a Mass Effect fan, you deserve to at least give it a go, you know? I mean, I've always been a Mass Effect fan from, from the very first one, you know? Mass Effect 2 is still 
the pinnacle of the series. You'll never beat Mass Effect 2, if not for the Suicide Squad mission at the end. Oh, still one of the best missions in any game. It's amazing. So if you're interested, I recommend it. Yeah, it's got, on, got a lot of hate. Yeah, I mean, believe me, I'm no fans of the SJWs and all that, but there's still quality within. Okay, Mass Effect Andromeda. And finally, my last PlayStation 4 game, Flat Out 4. This is just pure fun. It's an absolute blast to play. Looks amazing on the PlayStation 4 Pro, absolutely amazing. The controls are sublime and there's so many modes, so many different types of races. There's races with weapons and there's races, it's sort of a pain. Remember the old PlayStation 3 game, Pain? There's that at the beginning where you eject your character and you have to hit down the scenery. And yeah, it's a lovely, lovely game and uh, highly recommended. If you're into arcade races, you can't go wrong with this. It's absolutely brilliant brilliant game and now excuse me it's so hot I need a drink of beer mm. bloody hell oh. mm. and now <laughs> one of the reasons I love Thailand oh used to be a lot better, better but it's, there's still some around. It's bootleg stuff. I've got bootleg Amiibos. And uh, yeah, I've always been interested in, in Amiibos, but the cost, they're either linked with the limited edition games or to buy them on their own. Because everything Nintendo, there's nothing official here. They're exorbitantly expensive here ridiculous I mean absolutely ridiculous I'd never buy them just way too expensive so some bright spark has come up with bootleg amiibos <laughs> and I've got got the full Zelda set of amiibos here and for me the amiibo the main benefit is using it for the NFC where you get the bonuses in the game and to me, Breath of the Wild is one of the best ever games ever. I mean, it's one of the best ever games I've played, you know, it's brilliant. So I was dying to see what all these Amiibos do. And uh, now I've got, I've got the full set now on cards. And I'd much rather have them like this. They were much more accessible. You just put them onto the Joy-Con, I believe. They showed me in the shop and they work. Well, the ones that they showed me work. Hopefully these will do as well. Yeah, it's, it's from a regular shop, so it'll work. So yeah, I'm gonna go, here we go. Starting off with, hope you can see these, it's so bloody, so bright. We've got the uh, Zelda Windwalker one. Is the NFC card here, you just pop it. And I've got, that's a Zelda Super Smash Brothers one, you can see. But we can see all these. The sun's shining too much. And here's a Breath of the Wild one. Can you see these? Probably not. <laughs> okay. The Guardian. And then we have Ganondorf from Super Smash Brothers. Yes. And there we have Archer Link from Breath of the Wild. But you can't see this, I can't see anything in the screen. <laughs> and uh, another one for Super Smash Brothers. This is Toon Link. And another one. So what's this one called? Link Rider. Can you see these? Another one. And then we have another, yet another Super Smash Brothers one. This one's called, uh, this is just called Link. I can't see anything on the screen, so I'm not sure if anything's coming out. And yeah, oh, I like this one. Um, this is the only Amiibo that I nearly bought. This is the the eight bit link. This looks this, this Amiibo looks really nice. I did almost buy this one. And we got Shake from Super Smash Brothers. And we have 
Zelda, this is a Breath of the Wild one. And then we have the Link Ocarina of Time. Then we have Toon Link from Wind Walker. And then Wolf Link. Now I do have this somewhere. I did buy the special edition for the Wii version of Twilight Princess. But um, <laughs> I gave it to my son to play with. And I can't find the damn thing now. Because he was playing with it as like an action figure. And I can't find it anywhere. So I'm glad I've got it again. And apparently this is the best amiibo to have. For the bonus features. And finally. Bokoblin. Again, that's another one for Breath of the Wild. And they're incredibly cheap for the whole set, you know. I mean, how many have we got now? I have got, let's see, let's count how many I've got. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Cost me around twenty quid. Oh, excuse me, it's bloody hot today. <laughs> yeah, fifteen amiibos. <laughs> yes. So there we go. That's my pickups for March. Gonna be a short video because it's too bloody hot today. Okay, so there we go. That's my PlayStation 4 pickups and my amiibos. Okay, that's all for me for now. Thanks for watching. Cheers.